More action later. Flyweight prospect Ian Napper still to come. But next up, the latest attempt by Barry McGuigan to add to his fleet of luxury cars. Actually, the question here is whether British title contender Pat Mullings can prove himself roadworthy again in the Super Bantamweight division. And a man wearing L plates as an international fighter, but Howard Clark is in line for a world title shot at light middleweight. And now to the big British title fight of this week. It comes at super bantamweight, Brian Carr against Pat Mullings. After a couple of setbacks, an unexpected chance here for Mullings to get his career back on the road. And Barry found him determined to prove he still has the engine and the style to make the right impression. Patrick Mullins has made his reputation as a bit of a banger in the super bantamweight division. And bangers can be profitable in his other job as a car trader with his own forecourt in West London. Tell me a little bit about this one. Well, as you can see, it's a bright yellow. Um, there's not really much to say about it, but it's a, it's a reliable car. It needs a little bit of rest restoration, but um, if I was trying to sell you a car, I'd sort of stay clear of that one and focus more on this one. So, Patrick, how did you get started in the car business? Um, well, when I left school, really. When I left school, I'd done a work experience and um, I started off in mechanics. Left mechanics to get onto panel beating and spraying. And then from panel beating and spraying, just saw how easy it was really to repair a car and, and make it look good and, and sell it, really. Well, how good are you at selling cars? Very good. Um, I think I've probably sold sand to the Arabs, to be honest. Yeah. His career as a boxer hasn't been so straightforward. After his defeat against Spencer Oliver in an epic battle two years ago, he quickly got himself back into the driving seat, scoring a series of impressive stoppage wins. It was all looking good for the 28-year-old from Harrow. But then came a damaging defeat last August against Simon Ramoni. On the night, he was bewildered by Ramoni's switch-hitting style, but now he's philosophical about the loss. Didn't expect him to be you know, uh, a sharp and, and, and you know, he, he, uh, he boxed a different game plan to what I, I thought really he was going to box. So I think that's basically what, what went wrong really on that fight. He was just a better fighter on the night, to be honest. If you get a car and a car breaks down, you, uh, you, you sort of, you, you go fault finding, you, you see what, what, what went wrong and you sort of take it from there really. So it's, you know, it's a case of just building it up again really. But first he must take care of another car, Scotsman Brian Carr, when they meet for the vacant British Super Bantamweight title this Saturday. It could be the most important fight um, of my career because obviously beating Brian Carr would put me sort of back up there again. I think it's going to be a difficult fight um, because, you know, Brian Carr is a capable and durable and a, a quite a technical um, fighter, so it's not an easy fight for me. But um, I think I, I, I'll win it with a late stoppage. I've watched a lot of tapes with Brian, he's a good boxer. Um, you can't take that away from him. Pat, as you know, he, he can stand and tear up with somebody and sometimes have a bit of difficulty with boxers, but we've worked well, he can box as well, so uh, if he sticks to the game plan, I don't think we'll have a problem. Now, you've been called the Arthur Daly of, of uh, the boxing world. How do you live up to that title? Uh, <laughs> not, not really. I mean, I, I look at Arthur Daly as somebody who is, is, is dodgy. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a dodgy person in, in the least, really. So, um, I mean, the only thing me and Arthur Daly have got in common is we both sell cars. Would you buy a second hand car? Would you? <laughs> It's a 1996, it's fully loaded with hydraulic suspension. Um, it's got soft leather hide interior, low mileage, one owner. Um, comes with a private number plate and it suits you down to the T. I think this car's got your name all over it, Barry. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Hello, Barry. Got a new motor. <laughs> this year's pitch was brilliant. He really could sell sand to the Arabs. He's great, a great guy. He's such a ways kid, and I'm glad to see he's putting his money into something that he can, he can benefit from when his career in boxing is over. He's, he's a very sensible lad. But he's, uh, he's a very exciting prospect, and there's a long way to go in his career yet. This is a, a great fight, potentially fabulous fight on Saturday. I would put it to you also that it's, it's got to be the most important fight of his career, hasn't it? Yeah, we talked about it being a crossroads, a bit of a cliche, but it's a very important fight for him now because it decides whether he gets a chance to fight Brody again if he goes on to fight for the world title. He talked uh, off-air about fighting Marco Antonio Barrera, which is, a, which is a great fight. 
Um, and, you know, uh, we're going to talk later on about Howard Clark getting a shot at, at uh, uh, Vargas. So, I mean, there is the chance that he get a shot anyway. So, he's just got to do things right, and it's a very important fight for him on Saturday. Brian Carr put up a brilliant performance against Michael Brody. So, if he can beat him impressively, you know, the, the doors are open again. I wouldn't call him a stable mate of yours, but Frank Maloney is the connection between yourself, Julius, and... And Pat, Pat yeah, yeah. Pat's got um, Frank has got a nickname for Pat. He calls him Little Lennox. You know, you could, and and Pat is a really nice guy. He is a really nice guy. Richard can be the neutral judge on this one as well. How do you see it? Um, I'll go with that fella there, Patrick Mullins. Yeah, I think um, I think he'll win. Thank you. News uh, in a moment of another major All British showdown. Just a reminder that this one Saturday night. Sky Sports 1 from 9, we're in Halifax, and it's the British Super Bantamweight title. I hope very much you can join us for Saturday Fight Night. <laughs>